Hello, welcome to another video. I've got dog lead on, my little poo bags and treats. I've got a dog bowl for water, for food. I've got his dog food and I'm here with Nimbus. He's a Labrador slash Labradoodle, but he's a bit shy on Doodle, so he's pretty much a Labrador. And he's about five or six months, and I've known him since he was first born. Me and Fern helped birth him. So the roles are reversed. Fern's away doing a multi-day hike, and I'm out with dog. So I decided to find some nature down south, and I booked into, it's like a little shepherd's hut slash tiny old school caravan like a traveler style caravan with this who this lovely couple have at the bottom of their garden it's got a fire pit uh, it's got a toilet a shower it's lovely i thought you know what i'll find somewhere nice i booked in just for a couple of days because he's not ready to go wild camping yet so i thought this would be a good introduction we can have fires we could go for walks in the countryside get him used to everything plotted in my os map i think it's about maybe five or six mile hike from our shepherd's hut in a big loop taking in a brewery and yeah I just thought I'd introduce him to you introduce is eating grass at the moment so we're gonna hit through these woods and we're going in a huge loop and just see what we can find lads holiday come on I'll oh, give him about one last chuck good lad good lad to show you what he can do. To show you what he can do, some of his skills. Nimbus, middle. Good boy. Skill C. Nimbus, sit, wait. He'll wait for however long I want him to look. Wait. Wait. Nimbus, come. Right, and the pièce de résistance. Nimbus, lie down. Bang! Yes! Yeah, good boy, good boy. It's a glorious time to be alive, look. The first ever walk past with dog. I think you did well there. High five. You high five, Paul? Good boy. Good work. It has just occurred to me that I'm just filming myself taking dog for a walk. But it's more than that. It's just, I'm. this is my test. I'm testing if I can film and if I can hike with Nimbus. And then if so, we'll do a few of these. Oh, I won't upload them all, don't worry. But I'll do a few of these. And if he passes the test and in time, I think we'll we'll attempt some a little bit longer. Obviously, not going to be doing Cape Raft Trail or anything like that, but I reckon we'll do. We start with like an overnighter, and then we'll work our way up to a little multi-day hike. Glorious down here, mate. It's a. Uh, I mean, there's planes, but it's only a little nice plane. Farm machinery going on, but that's all part of rural life. You don't, I don't begrudge it one bit. Exploring the trails and bridleways of Sussex. Aren't we, mate? <laughs> I have to keep stop, I have to stop calling him mate so much because uh, he starts to think that's his name. Mate, <laughs> mate. And you don't need that. Water. A rare sight indeed. Oh, mate. I mean, Nimbus. <laughs> nice woods, man. We were up here yesterday and we did a bit of hiking. We're looking for some mushrooms, but because of the hot weather, hot and dry weather, they've all collapsed and gone. But we had a walk yesterday. We went to the, I think it's called the Three Bells or the Six Bells pub. We had a pint and some food and then walked back in about 15, 20 minutes through the woods and the fields in the dark and it's a new moon so it was pitch black and i loved it and he was brilliant he wasn't spooked he wasn't barking at anything it was amazing right crossroads we might have to have a little look at the map map time right now we're joining on to the wheeled way 
which is uh, I think it's about an 80 mile hike down to south and I've got my eye on it I was having a look at it in the pub last night and I thought you know what I fancy that nice little 80 miler not with a dog obviously let's do that on my own but this is us joining that path am I going to have to lift you over he's crying come on then young un <laughs> there we go <laughs> right, let's get your lead on boy you wriggly worm face lasso him out your mouth, boy. Come on, meet us. <laughs> right, let's go. Power struggle. Uh, he's asserting. He's asserting dominance on me. Are you taking me for a walk? All right, come on. In. Come on, in, you win. You win, boss. Well, that means you've got to lead the way. If you can, instead of chewing your lead, you donut. There's, I mean, it's not mountainous and all that, but there's, a, there's definitely a quaint beauty. There's a church steeple in the background there, and it's rather joyous. That was our first of probably many goofings. All the way to the other side of that field was supposed to be in that one. I avoided it because it's got sheep in it, but we've got to go through it. We try to introduce him to as many things as we can early doors so it doesn't freak him out later in life. It says you have to introduce him to everything, which I've not even introduced myself to everything. What you look, what you found? Truffle. You know what I mean? Every, everything. So a sea lion, a sea lion on a treadmill, a clown in a washing machine, a pack of biscuits, all biscuits, every single biscuit in every combination. It was in a book I was reading, it said introduce them to everything when they're young. <laughs> I was like, I say, everything is a lot, mate, everything is a lot. But so best just introduce him to stuff that you're gonna be doing. So sheep, not that I'm gonna be doing sheep, but sheep, tents, fires, hiking, horses, things like that. We'll get you off your lead. We've got to get through these sheep first, mate. And you can't be trusted, kiddo. This look at that, that's cool, isn't it? Right, come on in, boy. Stung, I've been stung, boy. I'm done, man. Down, <laughs> just exhaust your dog. I know he's only a puppy, he doesn't need much, but uh, if you want to. You want, oh, by the way, look at this lovely church. I'm going to go and have a look around that. I'm on a cricket ground. Uh, there it is. Well done. Brought it back. Drop. Good boy. Yeah, you want to uh, give him a good runabout. And then on the evening, when you're tucking into your pint and your steak and ale pie or your curled up bike fire in your shepherd's hut, he's zonked out and he's not going mad. <sighs> Bring it back, drop, drop your ball, good boy. Nimbus, come. You're a bramble. Brambolinia. Come on, you've not you've opened that gate and you haven't closed it. Come on. Because you're getting left when I die, you're gonna be the CEO of latch and locks. Nimbus, watch this. It's a classic, it's a standard. But what's the acoustic? That's nice though, and it sounds good. Pretty church. No monk leads so we don't go disrespecting the graves. I don't know if dogs are allowed in church, are they? No, probably not. What have we got here, look. It's a classic and he's just done a threaded screw with a bolt on it. And I like that Nimbus, you're distracting me from what's Functional as well. Good stuff. Going under the gate. Yes, mate. Oh, she's stunning, isn't it? Beautiful. I was never a dog person. I never had pets growing up. Besides, 
Sinbad the shrimp, which is a shrimp I found in a river, called it Sinbad, fed it cake, it died, I cried at the end, but I was never really allowed pet pets, and I, went, I spent a, a large part of my life not really been into having pets, I thought it was a bit weird, and who are we to have mastery over this animal and breed it, so you know, till it can't breathe and its legs fall off or whatever, and then Throughout my life I met a few dogs, my mate's dog Stan in particular, he's a border collie, who uh, just changed my mind completely about dogs, saw some, it clicked and I was like actually I could see myself having a dog and then you know, me and Ferns have had this little guy since he was a pup, tiny little thing and it took me a long time to like love him, she's like do you love him yet? I'm like nah, I can't lie. I was just because, you know, they say that the bond between a man and a dog and all that, and I was like expecting it to be massive and it wasn't there. So I wasn't going to lie and say, yeah, I love him. But a few things happened and it sort of grew and we spent more time together. And there's t there was a time when there was loads of people in a room and he chose me to come put his head on. And it's little things like that. And coming away on this holiday with him, this little weekend break, is another thing that's like bonding us because <laughs> it's just me and him he's, he's a bit of a mummy's boy normally you know like fern goes out and he's stood near the door and stuff so this is good for us to spend some quality time together and build our bond and become best pals as he climbs into a little drain hey good boy go on boy get in bog get in bog you getting it bog? Bog foot, make all our beds dirty. No, don't drink that, come on, off. I've got you a drink in here, do you want a drink? Come on then, let's go have a drink. We'll, have a... we'll stop for a drink down here, come on, find somewhere nice and we'll stop for a drink. Okay. Medic. What we got here, boy? A counterweight. Lovely stuff. You're gonna enjoy this, kid. Here you go. And then he let go. Are you watching? You're not bothered. Let go. Come on, counterweight. It's what you were born for. Oh yes. You impressed? Of course you are. Look at that face of impressedness. Of that, you'll eat them all. Here we go, buddy. Where's your bottle? This is you. Yeah, Nimbus. Yeah. Yes. Thirsty work being a doggy. Go on, get all that down here. Yeah. Top tip if you want your dog to drink more water than you're drinking, put a, a treat in there that'll sink. What's this? It's at the bottom. And he'll lap it, he'll lap all the water just to get to the treat. Is that good or not? I don't know, but it works. If you want him to drink on a hot day. See, he's trying to get that thing out the bottom, but he can't help but drink it all. It's just top tips, isn't it? Top tips. It was camping top tips, now it's dog top tips. You good? Yeah, slavery wet nose. I've got to stay hydrated on a day like today. You've got to stay hydrated, mate. I've been hiking for a couple of miles, so it's nice to have a little rest, bit of water. You can get in the shade and then we'll crack on. I'll teach him to go back for camera. Retriever. I've been waiting to use one of these for so long and now I officially can. Ready? We lift it or is it a... Yeah, we lift it. Nimbus, come. Good boy. Yeah. The joys of having a dog. 
nerds the gun Pint on, he's got his water, ain't he, boy? Hey, eh? it's a pint of Marjorie. This car's going past, there's music in the background, but that's life. Pub life. Oh, absent friends, that is delicious. Cold and refreshing. Beautiful. I've made a mistake though, this is called The Gun, and the brewery, the tap room, is also called The Gun. And I was like, oh, I'm off to your brewery next. He's like, no, that's not ours. And apparently because this street's called The Gun, they've called it The Gun Brewery and they've got the same logo, so. An easy mistake to make, but apparently it's just half a mile as the crow flies that way. So have a pint here, he's gonna have his dinner, maybe have a little rest in the shade, and then we'll head off to the Gun Tap Room. Lads, lads, lads. that can't hack it look half a pint of vodka and he's done suitably refreshed after a pint back out into the countryside there's buzzards flying is it a buzzard it's a kite it's a red kite Madak. i'm aware this vid is uh short on entertainment because it's just me and dog having a meander so Let's just talk about stuff, shall we? And this is something important that I've got to tell you. A couple of weeks ago, I found some fake tan. Some of Fern's fake tan and this mitt, right? <laughs> and I've not used it before. I was like, do you know what? Let's do it. I'm a, I was feeling a bit down. I thought, right, I'm just about to go up north. Let's get a bit of a tan on. So <laughs> I squirted it. It was like came out like mousse onto this pad. And then I started rubbing it on myself, rubbing it all over my face. I was like, all right, cool, this is good. And I walked into the kitchen and Fern was like, what are you doing? So I'm just using some fake tan. She's like, you haven't put it on your face, have you? I was like, yeah. And she says, yeah. apparently you're not to put it, like you don't go straight to foam onto your face. You just need a little bit on the thing. So, and I, because I was, I was on a deadline, I was on like a schedule, I was like, I'll be all right. I won't worry about it because it didn't look anything bad. I was like, I'll set off up north anyway because it doesn't look like it's worked. And on the way up north, I got caught in a bit of a traffic jam. And when I get, you know, when I've got a bit of time like that, I often get people asking me like, oh, can you wish me mum a happy birthday? Can you wish me dad a happy Hanukkah? And all these sort of shout out things. So I thought I'll do a few of them while I'm in a traffic jam. And <laughs> I got a camera out to like do my bit. Looked at my face. I looked like that. I just looked like a tea stained idiot. It was, <laughs> it was shocking. I had to do the videos in black and white. So if you're one of the people that got a video off me in black and white, it's cause that's why. And it was like, I'm, I'm homeless now. Cause I'm in camper van. I've got no, how do I get it off? And it was just getting worse and worse. And, told Fern she was laughing and she told me daughter Kaya and they were both having a little laugh about it. How can I make a video when I look like a, I don't know, like a tea stained egg. But luckily, cause I'm still a member of the squash club in York and that's where I was. I nipped in there and had a shower and it sort of took the edge off, but I'll put some photos in here. It's not as maybe as bad as I made out, but it looked worse in real life. I have some of in car, I've got like a white there, orange face. And then one of me just before I got in the shower, that was just like, oh no. And I had a wash, it was still sort of like, it was still pretty bad, but I don't know why I'm telling you this. So here's a top tip, lads. Don't just go around willy nilly using your girlfriend's beauty products because you haven't got the skills for it. And you will come a cropper. What's this? How are you gonna, do, how are you gonna manage this one, mate? You're gonna go under? I'm going through there. Sheep on field, dogs on lead. That's you. Let's see if we can snare him and lead. Come on. Yeah, snaresville. <laughs> Cyril snare. Right. How are you gonna do this, mate? Can you shimmy underneath, do you think? I'll do. Through the middle. I like it. I like what you've done. What about this one? 
Oh, he's got it nailed on, look. He's got it nailed on. Himalayan balsam, look. Good eating. Right, come on. The good thing about having a blonde or a white dog is it's good to take ticks off them. Ticks show up so you can sort of get them off before they before they get attached. Whereas, imagine if you've got a brown one or a black one. Needle in a haystack, innit? I think I'm going the wrong way because this path is, is, I don't know, you can hardly call it a path really. How are you doing back there? You good? Someone said there was sheep in here, but there's not. It's overgrown, look at it. We've been lost a few times. We got lost yesterday quite a bit, but that's the part of the adventure, innit? Getting lost. He's doing better with sheep, but where we're staying, they've got ducks. They've got ducks just roaming around shepherd's hut. <laughs> so I said, oh, he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a duck menace. So they put him away and told me to just let ducks out when I go out. So I let ducks out. And then when I get back, I have to bang this lid on um, on like a dustbin, a metal dustbin, and then they all come running back and get in their little house. I'm gonna get stung here, that's lols. <sighs> so, these ducks are better trained than him. Wherefore aren't we? Go on then, let's just keep going over these fields. <laughs> As the crow flies. I'm looking forward to this brewery. <laughs> Everything, everything, what, is that a bone? Medirk! That's a lovely bone, that, isn't it? Do you want it? You can have it. Can't get them, they're too wobbly, aren't you? Eee. This place isn't on my OS map, so we've been going round and round looking for it. Like a beacon in the night, in the day, even. Brewery tap room. Let's get tucked in eh? Let's get tucked in, put camera away so it'll like a wazzock. Yeah, go on, you're not having that, look at head on that. <laughs> you're not having any of it. Oh. Decent brewery, decent ales. Had two beers and a lamb wrap. I'm stuffed. <laughs> he had, uh, what do you have? Five pints of stout. So he's on one. He's on one, he's looking to fight. He's looking to do anything he wants. He's absolutely mullered. He's a liability, if I'm honest now, aren't you, boy? Popper Aggie liability, right. So my conundrum now, if you can call it a conundrum, is I've got 8% battery left on my phone and I need that for my OS map, so we'll see if we can get home. Decent, recommended. What do you reckon, mate? Are you too mullered to speak? Right, I think it's down here, and then we cut off over the fields. We'll see. I think we've done about six mile, and we've maybe got two left. So eight miles is quite a lot for a puppy of like five or six months. He's, uh, luckily he's snoozed in every, in the last two beer gardens, he's had a snooze. What sort of training are we doing? I'll tell you what training we're doing, long distance hiking. <laughs> and dealing with things of the trail, sheep, geese, ducks, beers, things like that. Look how beautiful this is. Patch of greens, but isn't it beautiful? Lovely. Go on, boy. How are we going to get through this one, little conundrum face? He's working it out, look. He's worked it out. Well done. Well done. You're not as daft as everyone says you are. Oh, yeah. You're a good lad. Oh, we're going to get brambled out down here, like. Wait a minute. Let me just check if we're going the right way, because we don't want an unnecessary brambling. Oh, it's the right way, so yeah, let's just get it. Ow. Come on in, bramblehead. Ah, stung. I don't want you getting scratched and stung. Let me go first. Oh, he's going for it, look. He don't care. That's him stung. That's me stung, isn't it? Oh. Why? Oh, go on. You just got to go for it, haven't you? Get stung. Ow, stung. Stung. Oh, I took a few hits there, like. Ow, 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 ow. 
Do you take any hits, mate? Are you all right? I took a lot of hits to the legs. Come on, let's keep plodding on. Spicy little stingers. Can you get stung through that fur? Probably you can't. Just watch your nose. Watch that beak. Good lad, agile. Got all nettles, mate. I'm getting whacked to bits. We're going for it though, aren't we, boy? Adventurous. Ow. Are you getting whacked? I'm getting annihilated. Just had to just plough through. Legs are on fire. Oh, legs are on fire. How are you doing, mate? Are you? How's your leg? You don't care. He's fine, aren't you? Your nettle proof skin fur jacket. Both legs burning. Oh, my dog would have you, mate. Ow. Ouch. Right, map time. Look at this. Coyote. Medic. And this is all part of me um, fixing my noodle. I've just been doing the things that I love to do and just disconnecting a little bit from people and a little bit from the internet and my phone and stuff. It's the first time I've ever hung out with a dog for this long on my own. I know he's my dog, but Fern's always been there and he's always been with Fern. So this is our first lads holiday together and I'm loving it because he's so loving and stuff. So he's always there for you and you've always got something to do. I've always got to make sure he's fed, make sure he's not chewing through electric cables. You've got to make sure he's walked, so first thing on the morning it forces me to get out and have a little mooch about, and today I'm just mooching all over the place. It's turned into quite a hikey weekend, and uh, that's thanks to that guy. Because otherwise I might just, I'm prone to just sort of stewing in my own juices sometimes. You know, if left to my own devices, I can go off rails a little bit, but having him whilst Fern's away, it's like, right, I don't just want to sit around the house with dog. Let's go out, let's do something. And that's the beauty of having a dog, isn't it, I guess? And that's what he's going to bring. Because I'm hopefully going to train him up to be a proper little feral dog. Coming on camping trips, going to sea, all that sort of stuff. And it fills me with hope. I like it. I like the thought of it in my brain. When I think of the future and I think of him in it, doing bits outside, I'm like, ah, oh, that's all right, that. That's good. I was touch and go at first. He was a bit hard work and I was like, oh, do I really want a dog? But I do. I really want a dog and I want this dog. Probably for the best because... <laughs> he ain't going anywhere, is he? He's not going anywhere. Look at this. Swamp. Oh, I've hardly seen anyone. I've hardly bumped into any other humans. And I was worrying because, look at this. Can you see? Is it that little green bog? Probably can't. I was worrying being down here because I'm in quite a built up area. I was like, oh, I feel claustrophobic. I can't get, I need to just be away from humans and everything else. And on this trip, which is only 40 minutes from my house, it's been like that. I've just plotted in routes that are just off the beaten track. And look at this, it's a Saturday. And there's not a soul. Are you going for a swim? I won't go in there, mate. It looks a bit rough, but it's up to you if you want. I'm not going to stop you. You've got to make your own. <laughs> Is he going to fall in live? Oh, a lovely little woodland walk to end on. And then we're going to go put our ducks away, <laughs> aren't we? Get our ducks in order. Nimbus, come. Good boy, good boy. We're nearly home. We set off that way this morning down that road. Full circle. A lovely little adventure that, wasn't it? I might end it here. I might not, I might show you around digs. It's pretty cool digs actually, I should show you. I will show you, don't worry, I'll show you. Here we go. It's ducks, okay, here's him trying to get the ducks. Not happening. Not happening. There they are, look. There's my duck. He's at digs, look. Our little area. It's nice. Some chairs, got little lights. Barbecue, fire pit. Look at that. Right, he says, what he says is you've got to just rattle this tin. Like that. And then they come, then they come. Come on, boys. 
<laughs> Have I done it? I'm doing it, that's for sure. Right, what's gonna happen now? You've got to get in. Get some more juice, look, right? yeah. Get in, all of you. All of you. I've done it. I've done it. I've just wrangled ducks. Did you see that? Let's see if this little guy's all right. Hello. Let's get your lead off. Let's get your lead off. Oh, there you go, mate. Show you out digs. MTV cribs, look. I wish I had some beers back here. Excuse, it's a bit of a mess. You've got a shower. Opposite that, you've got your composting toilet with sawdust down there. It's even got a record player, which is pretty cool. We can play your vinyl. Look at this, this is the pièce de résistance. Wonderful wood burner with a chimney going up. You've got a cooker, I've got a fridge, sink. You pull this table out. These two chairs um, fold out into one bed, so that someone can go down there. He's just sort of going on here, and then I'm up here. I put his dog blanket on so he could have a little snooze with me this morning. Got a little chandelier. And there it is, and there's my boy. That's us, isn't it, boy? Fire pit, and all these fields and woods I'm allowed to walk in. I can take him off the lead and just walk all around these fields and woods. It's stunning. Right, thanks for watching. See? Thanks for... See ya. Nah, jokes, jokes, come in jokes. So that's me. I live here now. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. I don't know. I might film a little bit another time, maybe later tomorrow or later this evening, but... I can't be jenked, we've had a good walk today. You want to say bye to Nimbus? Turkey rustler. Good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. <laughs> you're a good boy, soldier. You've earned a little rest. You've earned a little rest, boy. -oh. You've earned a little rest, haven't you? You little cloud faced ninny. I've got him a buffalo horn, look. You never said thanks for that. It's a buffalo horn. You're welcome. Right, see you later as...